Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you a little, little cup battle against House of Wolves 100 of Smogon, Madam Through the Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Uh, he is running a Gen 1 team, including all three Gen 1 starters, so I am not really seeing too much in the ways of threats, but I do not want to lead off with my Sandshrew to set up rocks, because I figure he might lead off with Tentacruel, which is actually exactly what happens. Actually, Sandshrew in general has kind of three uh, weaknesses on this team, so... I'm gonna want to save for later. I have no idea what the deal is with that star right there. Record this battle on Black uh, One and then transfer it over, or transfer it over the um, battle video over to Black Two. So anyway, I go ahead and go for the Earth Power with Lilu, um, which is a reference to the Fifth Element. Uh, highly recommend that you check that out if you have not seen that movie. Anyway, he switches out into Squirrel here. Kind of a weird move. Not exactly sure what it's about. Um, but he goes for the Ice Beam, which I guess is super effective, but not going to really do too much to me. Go for the Giga Drain, that is going to take Squirtle out, no problemo. So, yeah, uh, Lilu is doing quite well. He's now going to go out into Bulbasaur. I'm thinking probably don't want to take a Leaf Storm, so I'm going to go out into Blake. My Banded Growlithe, this is a worthless set, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. Um, there's a... I'm retiring this team pretty soon, so it's not really worth changing anyone out. But, yeah, so, I mean, look at this. So, Bandit, close combat, did a really great job of prediction here, and it still doesn't even get him down to his sturdy. So, uh, sorry, Growlithe, you are just not worthwhile. Um, here, I'm going to switch out because uh, Bandit means that I'm going to be slower than his Onyx. So, I go out, actually, into Edgar Rice. Uh, I figure that... Uh, I'm not actually sure why... So, I'm going to have to do a double switch here. Now, I'm predicting the Scald. Uh, and indeed, he does go for the Scald, so I get off my Storm Drain, and now I have plus one attack. Lilu is going to do awesome stuff. He goes for the Toxic Spikes. Uh, at this late in the game, I don't really think it's going to help him. That range of health, I figure, and plus the boost uh, to the... Um, I, I thought I'd be able to take him out. Turns out I don't. Go for another Ancient Power, uh, and I am going to take out his Tentacool now. And now I'm going to get the, uh, the uh, 5x stat raise. Uh, raise on all of my stats, so that's amazing. Here I was really surprised that he would outspeed me with um, his Charmander, considering I was at plus one, but, you know, Lilu really is that slow, and I don't actually take him out, because he's got a Focus Sash, so it really would have been nice to have rocks up, and now I could actually put my rocks up, considering that um, his spinner is dead, but, you know, Lilu's doing a great job right in here, so I have no reason to switch out. Uh, fake out is the worst I think he can do to me. It doesn't do very much, even though I've lost my Eviolite. That is A-OK. -okay. He's gonna go for the U-turn, which is super effective. I survive on three because Lilu is just that badass. So, uh, he's gonna switch out into his, um, Onyx. No idea why, but uh, that means that I'm gonna be able to take him out with the Giga Drain, and, um, now I'm out of the red. Uh, even so, I, I can't take another, um, I can't take another U-turn, so I'm going to switch Lilu out and go out into Emily, um, my Drifloon, and here I just, this was a stupid play, I should have gone out into my Pawnyard, uh, but I didn't know how well it would do with a uh, U-turn, so I go out into IBM, my Pawnyard, now, um, he's not gonna put anything, he's not gonna put in anything at this point, um, so he's gonna switch out. As I, I think I just go for the Swords Dance, and I do, so I go for the Swords Dance, and now do I go for Sucker Punch, do I go for Iron Head? I decide I'm going to go for the Iron Head, and I really wasn't sure how I was going to deal with his Meow, uh, considering it's faster uh, and could go for the Fake Out, although the Fake Out shouldn't do too much, but here it doesn't, he switches so it doesn't matter at all, so the switch was a really bad play. Here I just go for the Sucker Punch, take out his Bulbasaur, and win the battle with a Body Bag. So, uh, great game, House of Wolves 100. Um, you know, you gotta start somewhere, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge folks so long.